Justin, welcome back, mate. Thanks, Marty. Yep, good to be back, but um, uh, still a bit of a roller coaster, isn't it, for the Crusaders, unfortunately. Hey, you know, you made some comments during the game um, that, uh, you know, you couldn't believe the line-out choices. They were failing at shortened mm. line-outs, a lack of on-field leadership, that kind of thing. Look, I thought that was their worst game yet out of the five. So where do they go from here? Yeah, I tend to agree with you. Uh, I certainly felt that defensively they were poor as well, and that's very uncrusader like uh, regardless of whether or not you can get your pattern and game plan working. Uh, you, you know, Crusader teams of the past historically always front up on defence, but to drop off 43 tackles and only be operating at tackle efficiency of below 80% is just not up to where the Crusaders' standards are, are set. And I know they're high standards, but they have to be adhered to. So I totally agree with you. I thought it was their worst performance um, against a very good blue side, of course. Where do you go from here? You've, you've just got to try and get yourself through a really good training where you can stay positive and, and know that every opportunity is a chance to turn the season around. And no better way to do it than against one of the, the top sides. Like you, If you can get that belief back by beating a team like the Chiefs, for example, then you know you can beat any team in the comp. On, the, on your day. So you can all of a sudden grow massive confidence out of it. So, yeah, they've just got to keep, keep going out there and, and trying to be positive and trying to win a game. What do you do, though, from here? They've got the Chiefs this weekend. I mean, what mm. is, will, the, will the talk in that camp be just to win a game? Will it still be talking of semifinals? Will it still be talking of what could potentially be done? Or will it just be, let's just win a game? I think they'll just be focusing, yeah, on the very next game and, and their performance in that game and I feel that yes they are suffering from uh, leadership issues because of the players that they have missing which is well documented but you know the, the immaturity ha- has, has to be rectified really really quickly because it's not helping their rhythm out there and again yes you're right I was pretty critical of the fact they never adjusted their five man line out and the Blues picked them off all night now where, where is the information to, to the players because the management have to take responsibility as well. You know, they'll be seeing the same pictures, seeing the same thing not working. So they needed to communicate that as well as the players recognising it. So really, yeah, ultimately, if they can get some of those things, their decision-making right, then tactically play, you know, better, better game and put in better performance, then, you know, you've got to try and believe that you can win a game against the likes of the Chiefs. I, mean, I, I, I keep on asking you questions about the Crusaders, mate, and then I just think, why are we talking about this? The bottom of the table, they're 0-5. Shouldn't we be mm. talking about something else? But, Justin, it is the biggest story, isn't it? It is the biggest story in terms of where the Crusaders have been, for sure. And, obviously, they're always there or thereabouts. Um, they, they still have, in, the, in previous years, lost games, uh, no doubt about it, and in, and in opening rounds. But... They are now obviously on a a real low in terms of dropping their first five is just unprecedented. Precedented. So you've got to you've got to say that it's a talking point simply because historically it's never happened and it's never happened to this side. And unfortunately, your success breeds a little bit of jealousy and envy from the rest of the country. And so when the chips are down, um, you know people don't have a massive amount of sympathy, (laughs) to be honest, because. They know how good a side and how successful a franchise it is, and so they want to probably keep them down there because they're the type of side that if they find their mojo and and start to click and gel, then they're capable of winning this competition like they always are. But at the moment, that's not happening. Sam Whitelock, back for the All Blacks. Do you think this is is this is real? Um, look, obviously those conversations must have happened, um, and and there's no there's a lot of speculation about you know, whether or not he will be back and whether or not there's an opportunity to bring him back, whether or not the New Zealand Rugby Union will allow that. Um, I, I guess there's a lot to, to discuss in that regard. But I guess my mindset is um, based around, you know, the players that have moved on have moved on because they're ready to move, that they're ready to try and experience something different. And, and that, they're telling you that. You, you're, not, you're not being dictated to by players being out of form or fear of being selected, you know, these guys like Sam Whitelock have decided that they have given enough to New Zealand rugby. So why are we trying to get them back when we should be rebuilding in that area, rebuilding in, in those positions and in those jerseys to make sure that we've got a good, secure future, um, you know, in that jersey. So, yeah, it's a bit, I'm a bit, bit weary of where we're going with this, to be honest. 
Hurricanes and the Brumbies. Well, throwback scores, 55, 60 points. Uh, were you impressed by those wins or, or, or what kind of context do you actually put around the fact that those thrashings, and they were thrashings, were they great performances by the Hurricanes and the Brumbies? Were they poor opposition? What? Uh, I think a bit of a combination of both. Like, the, the, there's no doubt about the fact that the Rebels, you know, had their moments in the game against the Hurricanes, but equally, they were poor at, at certain stages of the game. And uh, they made error after error at times, and just basic stuff that ultimately a team like the Hurricanes will swoop on. And the Brumbies are exactly the same. If you give those sides with their attacking players that they have opportunities through your own inaccuracies, then they'll punish you because they're capable of doing that. So to a degree, both sides, I don't feel, had to construct the game. They just went out there and they fed off what the opposition were doing poorly. And when they needed to and, and needed to go up a gear, they did it with what you thought was consummate ease. Like they, when they needed to pull the trigger to, to find you know, find a, a way to score, they were able to do that both sides because they've got such great attacking players across the board. So a bit of a combination of both, really. I think the, the, the opposition didn't put up enough of a fight um, and the quality of the finishing of both those sides is very, very good. Justin Marshall is with us. The Reds lost the force. I know that the Aussie teams always seem to, well, they produce weird results, don't they? Because they seem to play better against mm. each other. But how much of a surprise was that to you? Huge surprise. Like, I, I was travelling back from the, the Blues game uh, back to my, my hotel in Auckland, and I got into the room and flicked the TV on to watch that game. And to my surprise, the, the force already had 20 points. <laughs> I was like, right. Hell, what yeah. the hell is going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Did not see that coming whatsoever. The, the Reds have been very consistent. Um, their performances have been very good. They've had some, you know, some tough ch- t- challenges, but they've seen, seen a few of them off. And I would have thought the way the force played the week before, you know, that they, they were just waiting to be plucked. And uh, unfortunately, the Reds just didn't turn up on the night. And the force were very good. They obviously... Were stung by the the criticism of the week the week previous performance, and they went out there and yeah, they played they played really really well. But I thought the Reds played really poor, which they haven't they haven't done up until that, that, this weekend.